Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so, so that we can bring you the latest news as they come, so that we can support our leader, Mazen Namdekano, IPOB, and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality. He said, The terrorist Nigerian Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, and the Sultan of Sokoto, Mohammed Said Abubakar III, are threatening the Southeast governors to help Buhari in order to take over Biafra. They are threatening him. They are threatening them so that the Southeast governor will do everything they can to help Buhari overrun Biafra, which is because they have no much time left, according to the terrorist Fulani, Janjaweed. They said they have no time left. And that is why they are pressurizing Biafran governors and those ones are, are willing to for the Fulani takeover. They are willing to. For example, the Fulani slave governor of Anambra State, Wile Obiano, is under fire from his Fulani masters to stop Biafra from sitting at home every Monday. Obiano threatened Biafran traders, bankers, and transporters to commence complete and interrupted, uninterrupted economic and business activities every Monday or face the route of his government. These are private businesses. The Nigerian government, nor the Biafran governors, are not supporting these businesses. They are not. And are threatening them. The businesses are private business. They can decide on whatever they want to do because they do not get support from the government. Obiano is afraid because the Fulani has threatened him that they will Go after him after his second term tenure ends. They will go after him with EFCC, DSS, for corruption. So he's afraid. And he wants to do the bidding of the Fulanese just the way he has been doing when he has invited them to stop IPOB peaceful protests where Biafras were killed at Onicha Head Bridge some years back. You know, Fulani Janjaweed are afraid that an Anambra election might not hold. They are afraid that Biafrans will sit at home. If Biafrans protest, the Fulani Nigerian government and the South East slave Fulani governors will send the terrorists a military uniform to massacre them. Now that they are at home for just one day in protest against the Fulani continued incarceration of our leader, Mazen Amdekanu, yet the Fulani Nigerian governors and government and their slave Biafran governors still want to massacre Biafrans. Instead of these slave governors to act like Lagos or River State governors to sign the anti open grazing bill and VAT collection bill into law, they are there dilly dallying. They are there following orders from the full anime etiala. But when it comes to Biafrans, that's when you see them showing power, shouting, threatening. Come on to sign anti-open grazing bill and VAT collection bill. 
They can't do that. You know, no wonder the Fulani can just bring their terrorists in military uniform and massacre Biafrans in southeast region. They can't do that in southwest region because the governors would not allow that. They can't do that in south south region, the so called south south region of Biafra, because the governors there too would not never allow that. You know, this is what our governors are doing. You know, signing the anti open grazing and VAT collection bill into law will help stop the Fulanization agendas. And if Biafran stop buying cows or eating cattle, the Fulani cattle, then very soon the Fulani Janjaweed will run back to Futajalon. The Biafran governors, with the exception of Wiki, are busy threatening Biafrans to favor the Fulani Janjaweed. That's what they are doing. And they will dearly. They will pay dearly for that. You know, as for me, I'm becoming a shame of our Biafran leaders, the governors, religious leaders, traditional leaders. Biafra is besieged. The terrorist Fulani bandits in Nigerian army and police are in control. Governor May, while addressing the media, told them that Buhari was God's anointed president of Nigeria, the same man killing Biafrans. And that people in the southeast region were distracting Buhari and his Fulani government, including the Efulefu southeast governors, by agitating for an Igbo president instead of allowing governance to continue. You know, when you continue to stay with the Fulani Janjaweed for too long, very soon that person becomes a Janjaweed. And that is what they have turned Umehi into. He's a full-blown Janjaweed. Umehi praised Buhari, the butcher, for the infrastructural development by the federal government in the eastern Nigeria, including the construction of the third Niger Bridge. He dressed in full Agbada regalia, thinking the Fulani would like him. He's just their slave. And had just come out of a meeting with Buhari when he held a press conference. My brothers and my sisters, you can say that the Fulani Janjawi have taken over all the political leadership in Biafra land. And that is why they have Merged Boko Haram with the Fulani terrorist headsmen and bandits in Nigeria. They have re strategized and gathered arms and ammunition and set for the war. They are set. You know, for disgracing Buhari during his recent visits to Imo State, the Fulani Nigerian government stopped petroleum product delivery in Imo State in order to punish Biafrans. And this is the government, Biafra, Efulefu, Sabotuas, and the government, in, the governors in Biafra lands are supporting. You know, they are supporting them to milk the South and Biafra dry. This is the more reason why the zoo called Nigeria must break up. Zamfara State mines gold and keep the proceeds to themselves. Kogi State has stayed too long with the Fulani Janjaweed. They better break away because with their vast mineral resources, they should have been the richest state in West Africa. But Fulani Janjaweed will never allow that to happen. They will never allow that to happen. They want to impoverish everyone. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video, and bye-bye for now.